Hello, I've been asked to um, say a few words about my experience of hip replacement surgery here in Turkey. Um, part of um, what I've been asked to mention is why I actually decided to come to Turkey in the first place. Um, the reason for that is because I had in the United Kingdom a controversial metal on metal type of hip. I've had problems with it for a long time, but uh, the surgeon that I was under refused to replace it. So I started making inquiries about uh, where I could go, what I could do to get it replaced, uh, if necessary, abroad. Um, I did a lot of uh, research into uh, various different countries, various different hospitals, various different surgeons, uh, and then whittled it down to a relatively small number of, uh, of choices. Um, there was one of the things that I was uh, suffering from before I came here is um, with the metal on metal hip I've had for a long time uh, various different uh, conditions that have been unexplained but have been linked to uh, the metal on metal hip and I had five months ago uh, a stroke which has also potentially been linked to the metal on metal hip um, and left me in a condition of considerable pain down my entire right hand side so from the top of my head down to my foot uh, it was, I've never known anything like it it's just incredible pain down the entire right hand side I noticed two days after the surgery that the amount of pain started to recede. I started to get uh, a sensation back as if the, uh, the, the sensation, the, the pain in the right hand side of my body was slowly going away. I do know from reading research before I came here that it's a long process. It can take up to about eight weeks before it goes, but there is a definite improvement in my condition since I had the operation. Um, the amount of uh, pain I was in, I really can't explain to you. Um, the condition that um, I was in left me in such acute pain, it was unbearable. I came to uh, Turkey, I was on morphine patches um, because it was the only way I could manage the pain. But now I'm on considerably less um, uh, pain relief. I do still feel the, the pain, the sensation, but it is gradually, on a day-by-day -day basis, reducing, getting better. Um, as far as the hip surgery is concerned, I couldn't be happier. So um, I have received a, hip, a type of hip that is freely available um, and well uh, reputed uh, everywhere. So um, I received that uh, type of hip. So um, I've, I have no other comment really to make about that. So uh, it's a very well known uh, brand and I have had no issues with the surgery whatsoever. Uh, I'm now about a week and a half after the surgery uh, up and walking around. I do know that um, hip surgery takes up to about six to eight weeks before you uh, get better as it was the, uh, the last time I had the hip surgery. But uh, I'm on currently about a week and a half and making progress that even I'm impressed with. One of the things that you get here with the package that they can offer you is that you are encouraged to go for physiotherapy and you go to a special physiotherapy centre and you're seen by a number of different uh, staff while you're there and given a range of exercises and it's actually a three hour programme every day. And I have to tell you, it's not easy. It is not easy in the slightest. But the progress I've been making as a result of that physiotherapy, I'm delighted about. So uh, I'm moving far more, I'm up and about. The pain from my hip is minimal. So uh, I'm very encouraged by um, the, the progress that I've been making since the operation. The hospital, what can I tell you about hospitals? Hospitals. I would imagine are pretty much the same everywhere. So in my particular case, uh, I, I did the research about what I was letting myself in for before I arrived, 
and, uh, and what I found when I arrived was pretty much what I expected. What I would say though is um, that you are given very special extra treatment um, when you arrive here. So for example, um, I was met at the airport which is about three hours away from um, the hospital. Um, the flight was uh, in the middle of the night as well. So they picked me up from uh, the airport, drove me three hours, checked me into the hospital, made sure I was comfortable. The following day, I had a whole range of tests to make sure that I was fit and suitable for the surgery that I'd asked them to do. And uh, when I passed all the tests, the operation was booked in for the next day. And that's what happened. So the surgery was uh, two days after I arrived, about a day and a half probably after I arrived. And uh, following the surgery, I've been working to uh, uh, make myself improve and make myself better on a day-by-day -day basis. I'm going to have to say a little bit about the, the staff. I really, the, I can't fault any of the staff at all. The people in the, uh, the hospital, a lot of them have got various different abilities when it comes to speaking English, if I'm honest. Um, uh, the surgeon that did my surgery, I have been very impressed by, he did my surgery, no problems with that at all. He's looked at my um, hip every day since the surgery to make sure that things were progressing as he expected, and that's fine. The other thing uh, I've been asked to mention is Sevim, who's the other side of the camera, watching as I'm recording this now. Sevim is just absolutely incredible. She drove all the way to the airport to begin with uh, to pick me up. Well, actually, prior to that, we had a, a significant amount of exchange of um, emails uh, on the internet. So if you've got any questions, uh, anything you uh, need to know, uh, anything you're not sure about, you can ask Sevim before you even consider booking in to have the surgery done and she will answer any questions. When I arrived here, she will take care of everything you could possibly need. So if there's anything you want, ask Sevim. Um, what, um, the last thing they've asked me to, to talk about is what I would say when I get back to the UK. I have to say, I've been to Turkey before on holiday, had a lovely time. This, not really a holiday, so, and I came in February as well, and let me tell you, the weather in Turkey in February is a bit comparable with the weather in the UK, so uh, you don't come here on holiday in February. But um, I, I've only got very positive things to say uh, about my experience uh, of coming here. On a, um, a final note, what I would say to anybody who's considering uh, uh, surgery abroad, I had to, I was put in a position where I couldn't get surgery in the UK, so I didn't have a choice. But having said that, if you're paying for the surgery, the cost of the surgery here in, the, uh, in, the, here in Turkey is approximately, it's less than 60% of the price of the surgery in the UK, and that's everything. So your flights, your meals, your accommodation. I've stayed here, like I say, for uh, two weeks and two days, so the hotel uh, was uh, included in that. The only things that, that I've had to pay for, um, apart from, uh, well, the only things I had to pay for, rather, are I had to pay for the flights to arrive here. I had to pay for the evening meal in the hotel, so I'm staying in the hotel on a, a, a bed and breakfast basis, so if I wanted to in the evening meal then um, I, I can choose whatever I want, but I do have to pay for that. My lunch is covered at the uh, physiotherapy centre, um, and I would just say physiotherapy centre, absolutely incredible. I have been seriously impressed, the people there, the work that they do, uh, you really can't fault them. The facilities there are excellent, very, very busy uh, location. But I, I can personally say that I've been given priority everywhere. I had a single room in the hospital when uh, I stayed there after the surgery. Um, and uh, I've got my own room in the physiotherapy centre when I go there. So they all treated me exceptionally well. The only other thing that I've had to pay for is um, occasional prescription. So um, 
when uh, I've needed additional medication that was not um, something that had been uh, anticipated. So uh, I've, I've asked for additional medication and taken that to uh, the chemist and paid for it myself. So um, all I would say, my experience of uh, coming here, if you're thinking about choosing um, a location abroad for your surgery, make sure you do your research. There's a lot of information that's freely available on the internet and you can research both the hospital and the staff that you're going to be dealing with before you arrive. That's what I did. Um, it's not just the website that I used that I found this uh, um, location uh, under, but also I looked them up on various other different websites because there are reviews everywhere else on the internet. Do your research, make sure you're comfortable with what you're letting yourself in for. Um, you need to make sure you establish exactly what's included in the price. Make sure before you set out that you know exactly what you're paying for and what you're going to be paying extra for. I did. Turkey, like I say, um, uh, Turkey is hugely cheaper than it is uh, back in the UK. Um, and, uh, like I say, approximately 60% of the cost um, of the operation here in Turkey compared to the price in the UK. So really, if you're paying privately, this is really, I would recommend uh, as a consideration for you. Um, and once you've decided, once you've done your research, once you know exactly what you're letting yourself in for, I can say you can proceed with confidence. Uh, I've been extremely well looked after, received tremendous value for money. They've put me in a lovely hotel, um, the food in Turkey is perhaps uh, not to everybody's liking, but the, the food in the hotel, I really can't fault it at all. It's uh, international cuisine and very, very well done, so I've been seriously impressed. So, if you're thinking about having surgery, I would say give this a serious consideration. You could save yourself a considerable amount of money if you're paying for your own surgery that um, you're considering to happen so um, I'm, I'm very happy with mine so please don't discard this out of hand okay thank you for listening and good luck with whatever it is you choose to do okay bye bye now.